today in honor of me being able to still put my kids into costumes. Um, we're going to have a dramatic recreation of Goal Transport. First, we're going to have a quick review of the conditions in which gold is transported in orogenic systems. Uh, they tend to be in a medium pressure, 1.5 kilobars, uh, moderate temperature, 350 degrees Celsius, plus or minus 50, low salinity, uh, and have a fair amount of water and carbonate in the fluids as well. And quite commonly, these are held in bisulfide complex and transported as bisulfide complexes. This graph shows uh, why this is. At lower temperatures, uh, gold is carried in the AUHS2 minus complex uh, more readily than as a chloride complex, which is how gold is, co is carried in a lot of porphyry type systems. And now for the reenactment, we see the different types of materials we have. We have the red and the blue sulfur. Uh, there's no real, real reason why they need to be different isotopes, but I thought that different isotopes needed different colors. Uh, we have the gold that is our gold ball with AU on the front of it, as well as the hydrogens that are used to make up the bisulfide complex. Now what we see here is our bisulfide complexes uh, carrying the gold. You can tell that the hydrogens are pointing away, so the negative side of the sulfur is what's bound with the gold. And they continue, it continues to get carried, carried down until something uh, disturbs this chemical system. One such thing could be the presence of iron in the system, which causes the gold to precipitate. The iron then reacts with the sulfur and that creates the mineral pyrite as well as well dropping the gold.